Mit nem látok? Megjött a mulatság. Do you need some help? Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you, but you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. <laughs> You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. 
In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rete Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat some. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You could dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. 
trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Take care now.
Christ, wounds, what a fucking stink. How long have you been lying here? Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh, shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Good health to you. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. I'll be with you.
hold the lock with your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. With your left hand, you hold the blade. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock to the blade. But don't stop holding the tumbler with your hip. Oh, you forced it and broke the lock pin. That crack could be hurt. You're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. Real Can you tell me something about the other? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Tell me about Voitza. He's young and hot-blooded, with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy... Can you tell me... That's all. Tell me something about you. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do... someone <laughs> here. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue, how much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away.